I have shot this video over and over and over. In fact, I shot it enough yesterday that I went inside, edited it, uploaded it, and then decided not to publish. I just couldn't figure out what the story was. What is my intention with this video? What did I want to tell? I'm just about as unsure now as I ever have been in front of a camera. I never know exactly what the video is going to be. I never have a perfect plan, a perfect direction. I just want to share my story. Here on the Daddy Curbs Farm, I firmly, truly believe that everyone has a story and every story counts. I believe your story counts because you count. I also believe that phrase was put on my heart by God. There was a lot of times, still are a lot of times, when I go through my creative process here on YouTube just not knowing for sure what's going on. Who am I? Why am I here? What's the purpose of my channel? What's the purpose of these videos? What's the purpose of this video in particular? I've been on YouTube now for over 10 years, but my channel has been the Daddy Curbs Farm channel. I mean, for a long time it was called Blake Kirby because that's how Google Plus and YouTube decided it was going to be a appropriate was for everybody to use their real name. So my channel existed for the longest time as Blake Kirby and at some point uh, I decided to change it. Doug from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy had a lot to do with motivating me to make that change and I'm glad I did because that gave me a little bit more direction about who I am and what I'm doing here. I admire creators so much that can get in front of a camera and tell a story and share something fantastic that moves you touches you it it makes you feel something that motivates me to to try to achieve that I'm not there yet my channel my life my existence has been like an imperfect garden uh, that is full of fruit but some of its a little bit tainted maybe it has a bug on it I still believe it's valuable my story includes chickens and goats and ducks and cats that are climbing in the tree right now shaking my camera. My story includes dogs, includes my family, my, my wife, Mama Curbs, and my kids. However, they have chosen to mostly stay out of the camera's view. Yes, Max, I know. But what is the impact of what I do? Is it to show people how to beekeep? Some would argue I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm okay with that. Is it to show how to take care of chickens or garden or any of those things? Maybe to make kombucha? No, I don't think that's the impact of my channel. Hopefully, yes, Max. Max wants some attention. Hopefully some of you have gotten something out of those videos and have been inspired to try something new. But that was never the point. Even if I didn't know what the point was, I know now that that was never the point. My family and I drove to Kentucky last weekend to participate in my son's wedding. The wedding was beautiful. Just as two threads are woven together in opposite directions forms a beautiful tapestry, so too your two lives together will form a beautiful marriage. And we're glad to have been a part of that. On the long drive home, I started reflecting on the wedding and my family and a lot of things. And I had 18 hours on the road driving, so I had a lot of time to think. One of the things that popped into my mind was my YouTube channel has had a lot of ups and downs over the years. This community, this thing that we're working on together, has not gone perfectly. In fact, it's been probably well easily described as imperfect a lot of imperfect videos imperfect moments imperfect comments mixed in there has been a lot of good but it's been so up and down that i've always been a little bit confused about where am i going with this so on the drive home during that 18 hour drive 
I started thinking about things like this. My son was married on July 6th. I was really close to hitting 100,000 subscribers on July 6th. And I thought, how cool would that be to hit that milestone on the day of my son's wedding? It would just be something to remember that those two significant events happened on the same day. Well, it didn't happen. So I just started processing that. And during that drive, I felt God give me peace. And I'll tell you why. The 100,000 mark happened on 7-7. Seven, seven. Growing up, I've always been told that 7 is God's perfect number. And I thought, wow, that's kind of neat. What does that mean? Well, as I just thought about those things and drove into the night, staring at headlights and brake lights, I feel like God laid it in my heart that, yeah, your YouTube channel has taken 10 years to get to this point, but it's all in God's perfect timing. What did I have to gain by rising super fast and becoming something on YouTube? I had a lot to learn over the years. I had a lot of personal struggles to overcome. A lot of things that take time. And I believe that God has used this in my life to create space for me to learn some things. I've learned how to treat my wife better. As she used to uh, record my videos, I would get to see how I treated her and how I reacted to her. It wasn't always really kind looking. And that broke my heart. So that gave me an opportunity to think about those things and, and become a better man, a better husband. Well, through that, I believe I became a better father and really ultimately a better creator, somebody that can connect with you better. Speaking of connections, over the years I've had the pleasure of meeting some of you face to face, giving you a hug and shaking your hand. And that has been a huge pleasure to me. The growth that I've experienced as a man, yeah. as a dad, as a farmer, has been led on by people like you. <laughs> Thank you for being in my life at just the right moment to encourage me to keep going. See, this 100,000 mark, it's just a number. But all along the way, things have happened to make me a better person and this channel something that means something to people all around the world. I have friends probably on every continent now. I've actually visited another country, something I never thought I would do. This has been a pretty fun hike, chilling with some friends and family. Here in the beautiful scenery. I mean, seriously, this is like a dream. Never would I imagine that I'd be spending time in a place like this. I went to Norway and spent time with a beautiful family, which now I consider my Norwegian family, or I often say my Norway family. Thank you guys for being in my life at just the right time. At that time, I had around 16,000 subscribers, and my buddy Oystein, um, uh, we had connected through gardening. We weren't sure whether we were going to be wearing hoods and jackets and all that. And then I saw Oystein put on his beanie, which by the way is a Daddy Curbs official beanie. What? It was fun to meet him and have him uh, share some of his thoughts about me and my channel and, and the way it impacted him. So thank you, Oystein, for being there at just the right time. My phone's just going nuts. Must be one of those family group texts. Thank you to my Norway family and others who I've met at just the right time to encourage me, and I hope that I've been an encouragement in your life as well. So what is the point of this channel? What is the point of this video? I still don't know exactly, but what I do know is that it is imperfect, just as my journey has been. But the perfect love that I've experienced from some of you has covered a lot of my own faults. Thank you. I guess the purpose of this video is for me to just look you in the eye, you know, through this digital space, and say thank you. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being on this journey. And thank you for helping me to understand that my story counts. If you can do me a favor, this is, this is a simple thing, but it really would mean a lot for me. If you could, in the comments below, if you want to say a lot, that's fine. But would you at least say this? My story counts.
And I'm talking about you. I want you to proclaim in the comments below that your story counts. Because I truly believe it does. Perfect. Thank you so much for being a part of my story through this video and letting me be a part of yours. I'll talk to you soon. And a huge thank you to my buddy Tim who made the board for me giving our family and the live shows on Saturday morning a lot more fun, quality, good times. Thank you, Tim.